Well, hello folks. Hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan. We are looking at a whole lot of computers in Satisfactory, uh, which is what I was needing. And I decided to AFK for a little bit while I was taking care of some chores around the, uh, the apartment. And now we are going to mess off and get back to the Megatron power facility. First, I need... Um, motors and they should be in here yes indeed and we'll bring back some heavy heavy modular frames as well and they should be in here sweet sandy thank you very much for the subscription 22 months in a row Closing in on two years, you are indeed. That's just fantastic. I really appreciate you supporting the content. And thanks for modding, as always. I know I thank the mods a lot, but sometimes it's nice just to give that extra shout out. Mick Screwgun, hello. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, we did. Get, I think Alistair got back to you on Discord. Should not be a problem. I'm sure we can sort out the details later on. I feel like my screen is very close for some reason. Like my POV. But in this game, you can't change it without really messing things up. Um, I guess we'll take that and dump that somewhere. We should probably take more if we can. So let's just go see if we can get some extra motors. And I can also maybe put that petroleum coke upstairs somewhere. Sorting details shall commence. Yeah, I think that should be pretty easy. There's a local pub uh, by Steven and I that we really like. Uh, Alistair likes it there as well, so maybe that's something we can work out. But yeah, we can get into the details into the details a little bit later. Uh, got computers. I'm going to need motors. Motors are down here. You had me at pub. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a local microbrew. I, I really like it. And they usually have between 15 and 20 different craft beer on tap. So if that's up your alley, then I, we should be good. I know I already have a lot of those, so really it was the computers that was the bottleneck, so we should be good. The gamma in the game seems to be very high again. I'm not sure why why that's a thing, but my purple truck looks very pink in the sunlight. I get a lot of hitches through here, and I'm not sure whether that's the same for everybody that plays Satisfactory or whether my computer just decides that it doesn't like the Northern Forest. Yeah, Cosmic would approve, I agree, Dan. So I'm going to drive this all the way back to headquarters and then we're going to load up the train and then we're going to add more more uh, fuel generators to the Megatron facility and hopefully get ourselves to the point where we can remove uh, the temporary power and just focus on the main the main power. Much like my projects on uh, Minecraft on the Citadel, I'm feeling the need to take a break from Megatron, so I want to get it functioning. And before we finish decorating the whole thing, I want to try and 
work on some train tracks or some infrastructure or some other stuff that I think would benefit us. Uh, I think that could be fun. Because I've noticed whenever we have to do this trip to the Northern Factory, we're, we're losing a lot of time when I could just take a little bit of time and build some more efficient stuff here locally. And I just realized that I'm on autopilot. I need to go back. I need to go downstairs. I was on autopilot. We need to go down this way. Because I'd like to remove all this temporary nonsense too. And obviously we have to come in here with the chainsaw. <laughs> Every time they update this, uh, this area, they leave us obstacles. I thought I could run these over, but I guess I can't. I guess it's only the small plants. Technically, I guess that's a tree. I'm glad we didn't finish all the ceiling conveyors in here because there's new ceiling conveyor attachments coming in update 7, so that should be kind of cool. I wish they had a toggle button for turning off some of the wildlife. I wish we could just keep them out of our bases. They spawn inside of them, unfortunately. Looking forward to getting this base turned back on, too. Now, can I get around here? Looks like I can. Nice. I thought I was going to have to drive around the train tracks, but I guess we're good. See? They just spawn right in the middle. Right in the middle of the base. Get out. And stay out. Oh, that's already full of motors. Cool. All right, we'll put the other motors in this one. Motors are the thing that we go through the most when we're building these things. Uh, that's almost full as well. We can put the rest in there. More concrete. Perfect. We're laughing. Jared Nakamura, hello. Good to see you. I know that uh, I have to update the stream subscriber goal but I find that at the beginning of the month, there's often a lot of um, monthly rollover. So I don't want to set the goal and then have, you know, 100 subs just disappear and have a start a lot lower than we expected to. So I was thinking about uh, putting a couple of different games up for revisiting or trial in the Discord. I'm really thinking about giving No Man's Sky another shot. I was talking with Skull Daisy Gimp about trying to figure out if I can have my save moved to No Man's Sky on Windows as opposed to on Steam so that I could both like play on the Xbox and play on the PC so I could like kick my feet up on the couch and play and then also stream it um, on, on PC but we'll see
But there's other things like uh, Cozy Grove I've been looking at. Um, there's a new like village simulator that I was looking at. And what else? There was something else I wanted to check out too. I wouldn't mind getting back into a first person shooter, but I don't think I want to do a competitive one. I know I was talking about the Cycle Frontier a fair bit, but I, um, I don't think that's the one I want to stream. Let's go with 26. One hundred and thirty computers. Two hundred and sixty modular frames, three hundred and ninety. It's that. Uh, Caterium Quickwire. Rubber. We'll have to go downstairs for rubber. And then... There we go. You get a phone call just as it started. Oh no. <laughs> That's annoying. The rubber is... I really wish that rubber would stack a lot higher than 200. I, I would love for them to implement a machine. And all it would do is condense stack sizes. If anybody else plays this game, I think that would be pretty cool. Being able to... To take like stacks of 200, run them through a machine and make them into stacks of a thousand or something like that. Because it's going to cost you energy, it's going to cost you setup and transport time. I think it would be a neat idea. So, we are now up on the third floor. All this is in. I believe all this is in, but not getting the amount of stuff that it's needed. You're in. That looks like you're in. Somewhere we have more things to set up. We're gradually getting more walkways up here too, which is nice. It means I don't have to fly all over the place. Oh, you're done. Okay. So we've got all four of these are placed. They're just not... Um... Oh, I don't have enough concrete. So we've got to go up one more floor. So this is the fourth floor, I think. So these are in. Are they hooked up? Looks like yes. Yep. Good, 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 good. Guess I don't really need you. I feel like there's there's a whole platform that just doesn't exist over there. <laughs> uh, another platform that doesn't exist there. Okay. Are these powered? Sort of. We are going to run into a bottleneck where we are not bringing up enough crude oil. So I know that's something I'm going to run into. Which will be a fun break from, from all of this current building. 
These all have yellow pipes, which means that I've probably taken the time to do this correctly. There's an empty platform. That's what we want. This one needs to be filled in. I want to say it looks like we've measured all of these correctly. I'm probably going to have to double check them for my own brain. Oh, we got a platform out here too. Okay, cool. So what we'll do is... Get up here. I think there was a reason why we were pushing these in and making them shorter. I don't remember exactly what that is. All we're going to do is measure the, the distance to the start of the um, fuel generators. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that'll be easy to do. Double check that, of course. That one's set up right. Aha! This one is not. Glad I checked everything. Yep, okay, that's wrong. I think this is where we were running into the edge of the world border, or no, maybe it was over there. So this is not right. So it should be white block one of these and it runs into the door. Yep, okay. This is why I triple check things when I haven't played in like a week. And this is also wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. I guess, hmm. I want to double check to make sure that I, they're not supposed to be 11. I feel like I wouldn't have done 11. I probably would have done 10. Oh, I like the way that they attach.
Uh, having some deja vu, I think I was looking at these from inside the door. I'm trying to figure out which way was the better way for the look. are not placed right anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, we're making the decision now. I've missed some streams. Uh, you got a long, a uh, long way. Um. I think some of these things were partially done. I've also skipped to the top here. This is probably the easiest one to finish up. We're probably gonna run out of concrete before we run out of other things. We've got lots downstairs, of course. The real tedious part is going to be building the underside of all of these because we're so high up in the air. I say that and the zooping thing will remove some of the pain. I played Minecraft all weekend so my brain is looking at this project and thinking oh gosh there's just so much to do but then you're like well wait a minute. We can play, place a lot of blocks at one time. How long ago did you start this world? It feels like 2019. Yes. Yep. It it was three years ago, I think. Um. Does it give me all the saves? Hmm. It says March 18th, 2020. I was playing... I was playing a different playthrough in 2019, I think. This was my second playthrough. My second attempt. I got frustrated in the planes before I really knew how to play. So yeah, March... March of 2020. I imagine March of 2020 was probably one of the major updates for the game. That probably what pulled me back in. A 
11 and 12. Yeah, there was a break with, and I, I do play the game in fits and starts. Like I, um, it also would have depended too, because like back in 2020, I wouldn't have been streaming and podcasting full time. I would have had other contract work. So when I have other stuff like that coming in, I would have had to give it priority. So Minecraft would have stayed in my stream schedule. And then if I had to cut back on streaming, it would have been other games that would have been cut because Minecraft would have been part of the whole like spawn chunks you know content package in terms of like what makes the most sense to stream right um i also would have started uh the citadel west hill build in 2021 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 and 12. Cool. Oh, 2020 in March. That's right. Yeah, that would have been the start of um, start of COVID. That's true. I don't remember if I go one or two past that. I don't really remember. So now we can try to build a little bit of extra. We're not going to get very far. Nope. Twenty twenty was just a little before the nether update. I feel so old, man. You don't have to worry about feeling old. I definitely... Lots of different things over the last few years that made me feel looking old. Been looking at some of um, some nostalgia video games and stuff and then realizing like when they came out. And you're like, oh man. That was a long time ago. So let's get this stuff for another another twenty five um, or twenty three, I guess. Some more computers. So all that, and we only get to add like two wings.
Someone did link a new game in the Discord the other day, and I'm struggling to remember what it was. It was a shooter, I think. You can't be as old as the mighty grumpy Grampy Horn? You mean Elkhorn? We won't get into discussing ages in chat, but I'm older than most people think. Got a bit before you catch up to me? Really? Are you older than me, Sandy? Again, like, don't... We, we won't get into the details in chat just because we'll end up down a road we don't want to go on. Oh, it's an inside Infinity Cove baseball joke. Um, he has a points redeem where he thinks his... Uh, oh, he talks in his grandpa voice. Oh, I see. Okay, that's funny. any kind of infrastructure up here at all. That's interesting. Not sure where all this is going to end up going. the auto save lag <laughs> Danny is old enough to wake up with mysterious neck pains well that's not that doesn't narrow it down All right uh, I guess we'll go to here So that takes care of that part. There's no sense in doing all of the piping for this because we don't have the pipes even coming up this far. And I don't know where they're coming from. So I'm not going to bother to hook all this up right now. I'd rather just spend the time putting in the, um, the, the facility, the needs. So we'll do that.
The redeem Q is Statler and Waldorf from the Muppets. Oh yeah, that's that's classic. I grew up watching the Muppets. Jim Henson was one of the artists that really influenced me getting into being in a, in a creative career, eventually illustration and cartooning. But I have made some puppets in my time. I was a lot younger. But. This is feeling like it might be a little bit too long, but we can always shorten it up. It's so easy to delete things when you're done. And we've got all the concrete in the world, so not overly worried. You must have power. Yep. Not much, though. I guess we're not connected to the main grid yet. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. It's a pretty good guess on the end of this this uh, middle path. Yeah, enough to get you flying. Who needs more power? Oh, I don't know. I can see a few reasons why I might want more power. I'm going to be very happy not to have to worry about um, uh, nuclear power in this game for quite a while. I might even just avoid it altogether in this playthrough. I don't know.
My mouse is feeling really jumpy. I wonder if I've got some sort of background process going. Nope, looks like everything's fine. Ironically, the Razer software that my mouse uses lags all my games, which means it's useless. So again, we're not going to hook these up just yet. Basically, I want to get to a point where I no longer have to worry about building um, fuel generators. They'll all just be placed and then I can just hook them up as we can uh, get the diluted fuel up to this level. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm out of concrete again? That was fast. Toy Bear, hello, welcome in. Good to see you. I don't think I need this here anymore. So I'm going to remove it. Or do I? Yeah, we're good. It's really ugly. <laughs> Bugging me. So seeing as we are so close to break time and it is nighttime, I think it might be a good idea to take the break now. I'm just going to stock up on the materials I needed for fuel generators. I don't think we have enough computers. That might be the bottleneck. Oh, are we out of computers completely? Yeah, we're out of computers completely. All right. Can't even do that. Well, that's good to know. So that was the max. Burn through 200 computers in a heartbeat. All right. If you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. Uh, it's a little bit early, but because it's nighttime, I'm going to send you on the break train now. And we'll be back in five or six minutes.
back just in time for sunrise. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. Always good timing when you come back and the sun is just coming up so you know that the next hour you're going to get the absolute most out of the visuals in the game. I do find it a little bit bright, like I feel like it's a little bit hazy, although there's some decent shadows here on the train. I guess the shadows are pretty dark. Dark but not without detail. I'm finding the game is not really optimized as it used to be. Like, I find with update 6, I notice a lot of stuff rendering in really slowly. You'll see, like, the terrain changes and stuff, but it's not so far away that you can't see it happening, so it's kind of a, a break in the immersion. Like, see the trees change just now? I mean, I, I get it with the stuff on the on the hilltop, but, like... When there's stuff like here that's not even rendering in, like it's just popping in, I find that really distracting. I thought I had a decent render distance, but maybe I don't. So if we can't uh, really do much more with power, we should maybe work on the fuel or the, the crude oil setup. And I guess I have to start with the blenders and figuring out which blenders are running low. You're not doing anything. Maybe it's time to just get all the upstairs hooked up and then push the downstairs to the limits. So somewhere we have to build another few platforms. I don't think it was here. No, these are all sorted. Maybe one of the things they know uh, needs some work, but it won't work until probably 1.0. Oh yeah, no, optimization for sure is, is not happening until 1.0. That, that I get. For me, it's more, I, I just find that from update to update, I found that it got worse. But, well, first off, let's um, edit the to-do list and we'll remove fuel generators. I can make 18. Compacted coal. I don't know why I needed compacted coal. How do I edit? Oh, there you go. Okay, let's go with um, what do we want to do? We want to check diluted fuel hookups. We want to check lender output and then check water input and then check heavy oil residue. Put. Oh, come on. Really?
What do I have to do? Save it? This is stupid. That worked. The fact that this doesn't come up at all with any indication at all that you can type over there is really dumb. Like, unless you mouse over there, you have no idea that you can do anything over there. Okay. So we've got this guy. And I believe you are going to another two. That goes there. So we need to go up. This is where I like I didn't build the back of this thing and it gets a little bit confusing. All right, well this is already in, so we obviously are happy with where these are located, so we just need to build out to the center. I'm going to go in an endless loop through the shoop tubes. <laughs> yeah, the hyper tubes are fun. I agree. I've seen that before uh, trains were were in the game. I remember watching somebody, I think it might have been Max the Catfish, who for their uh, their break, what they did was they, they had a loop, like a really long hyper tube loop, and they just kind of sent everybody, sent everybody on the loop. This is 12. So 12 to there. Do the same thing. Actually, what we'll do is we'll mark this white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's 10. This wing doesn't just, just plain old doesn't exist. Five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Too far. Okay, and then here, two, three, four, five, twelve. Beautiful.
So then when we get to 12, I think it's five wide. No, seven wide. Two, three. Yep. Two. It looks like fun, like a dog sticking its head out the window, but a lot better. Yeah, I could see, I could see that comparison. Oh, I put that in the wrong... I totally put that in the wrong spot. Not even paying attention. So this is the top, and then we go, yeah, one there, one there, and then the big thick one. I guess we can remove this then, can't we? I'll leave the middle one in there in case we need it for anything. enough room. Kind of a weird optical illusion there for a second. I thought I did it wrong. I do find it strange that one meter platforms and four meter platforms take the exact same amount of concrete. We would save so much concrete if we could do different different lengths. Also it would help if the zoop thing would actually work.
Like you need twice the amount of concrete to make a double thick slab. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, you need the same amount. It's seven concrete, which is a strange number anyway, right? But like you need seven concrete and it doesn't matter whether you're making a one meter platform or whether you're making a four meter thick platform. They're the same footprint, but they, they cost this, um, the same despite one being four times as thick as the other. Now, I mean, I'm glad it doesn't go the other way. I'm glad that it doesn't cost 28 concrete to make a four meter concrete platform. But I kind of feel like, you know, four, eight and 16 maybe would make sense. I don't know how long I have to make this. I don't think it's quite as long as the one below. What I should do is maybe get enough to make a handful of these. Just so we can mark them in. So what do we need? Two, four, at least four. Thought I had a softer landing. I've got the computers. Always the rubber. The four meter is hollow. Ah, y you know, that's not a bad, um, because we don't know, right? It's not a bad reason. I've been thinking a lot about where I'm going to put the circuit and switchboard in this place. So I really want to make sure I can keep things on separate circuits, but it's going to be tricky. I don't have a central location to bring all the wires. I really hope I did this right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. Oh no, there we go. That's close. <laughs> it's not wearing the jetpack.
Man, I remember when they first introduced the whole idea of zooping the um, the concrete across there and building everything in, in, in stints like that. Man, it's such a big change. Maybe like three more? Or five more? so glad that resources are infinite in this game. I can't imagine being able to build this quick and have the resources gather as slowly as they do because you just you would blow through any kind of progress you're making in no time. How many left to build? I think these are the last two. In terms of like finishing them? I mean none of them are really 100% done I don't think. But in terms of just the initial platforms, like you can see this one is like, it's hollow underneath, right? Like I started it, that one's also flat. Like I'm basically just trying to get all the functionality in because I'm finding that it would be smarter for me to have all of the function in. And then as we are going around and decorating, as the loads balance out, we will be able to then troubleshoot and figure out, oh, well, there's not enough oil getting up to this level or the water is, you know, not pumping right or just stuff like that. I want to be able to troubleshoot that as I go. And I can't do that until I have the capacity. That's the one thing I do find tricky, which I guess is part of the game, is that when you have too much or too little, unless you can put something in an awesome sink, there's no way to test uh, big builds like this when they're balanced properly. So a little bit tricky in that in that regard. Now, where's the power coming from? I want to connect to a main, a main power output. There's one there. Is there one closer? That feels like it's a main power. Nope. That's just hypertube stuff. Ah, here we go.
you almost have to keep your eye on it and be like, where, where does it go? Perfect. make this come on 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 oh so close I don't know why that's such a strange height difference. I don't remember what what my decision was for the height between each floor, but I've definitely not made them even. There's definitely some some quirks going on. All right, so this I'm actually going to take up here. Maybe we don't need it over here. Are you hooked up to anything important? You've got power coming out. Oh, well, that's why I didn't have that there. So many different decisions. Uh, let's move this. Try to make it at least a little bit more user friendly. Why is that there? Oh, that's the old one.
Alright, this will take us down. Oh, it shoots us across. That's annoying. One way I've found that to fix this is to temporarily put in a small ramp in these situations. And I find that that helps. You'll hit the ramp before you go off the edge. Making sure these are not attached to pumps anywhere. I think this is all just scaffolding power. Yeah. Home from work, mix crew gun. Nice. Remind me, mix crew gun, what kind of dog do you have? I've been getting a lot of dog videos on social media lately. Just out of my my algorithm is feeding me puppy videos. <laughs> Only thing that would make it better is Joel falling off a huge building. I've come close a couple times. All right, so the power for this is coming out to here, but then ultimately not going anywhere. And I don't know where it's supposed to be going because I've blocked off the main chute down, I think. Yeah, we got to find alternative ways for this to get up. I guess we could just run it along with the pipes, right? That's going to be tricky. And then now we have this can zoop up this way. Disco Creeper, hello, welcome in.
so I guess I'll run these to put a middleman about here. So that put, should put this on the network. 28, yep, that's right. We'll have to figure out how this is all gonna connect later. Okay, so that's that wing. Then the same thing over here. I guess I put it somewhere in the middle. I think I want to clear out some of these beams that are in the way too. These don't need to be there. Definitely allow us to see the, the shape clearer, you know? So there's the power right there. Again, we'll put a midway point just because we can. No, I fell. I guess it's no fun for you, McScrewgun, if I've got a hover pack, right? So those are the obvious connections, but we still don't know quite exactly how we're going to be able to hide those in walls and stuff. That's going to be tricky. So it looks like we're going to have to pull from above to get the ring where we want. Or I guess we push up from the bottom too. missing one. Guess that's the, yeah, that's the inside because that's the outside. Okay. But how, why did we make this three? right could potentially be a little bit wider and then one two three oh out of concrete mini packs been wondering how you managed to get the circle in the middle of this place. Uh, so 
I started off. I'll show you on the way back up. Oh, I hurt myself. I'll show you where I started. Man, I really thought I had that landing. I uh, also need more plates, right? Yeah, a little bit. So the thing with the circles is um, I started off with the center of a square layout. So down here we have the very square center of the lower level. And so there is a single pillar block in the middle, or a block foundation, right? I want to say it's this one right here. So from here, I just went straight up until I reached the height that I wanted to. And then for circles, all you do is, um, right here, let me just get up a little bit higher. I'll show you. You can hold control and change the directions. It's a pain. It's not the easiest thing. And I don't know if it's really intentional design or if it's just the player base figuring out how to do stuff. Uh, so let's just take that guy, for example. So if I wanted to get a circle from this, then the thing to do is to get up a little bit higher right and preferably a little bit further away so you're not right next to it and then when you, if you hold control you can turn your foundation on a pivot point and it stays right in the middle and they're they're um, 10 degrees every time I think they're 10 degrees. Or no, 5 degrees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 45. Yeah, 5 degrees. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. So they're 5 degree increments. And all you do is you turn on your zoop. Right? So you come in here. Just turning it with your mouse wheel is a 45. But control does 5 degrees. So you do five degrees and then you zoop out and then you delete the back one and then you and you hit control, it goes back to five degrees. Then you do 10 degrees. And at the end of all of that, you repeat that like, you know, several hundred times. And then at the end, you've got these overlaps and you can delete all the stuff in the middle. And eventually this starts to make a circle. But it's only really good in like certain distances because you get a lot of Z fighting with the textures. So the farther you get out, the better. And one of these, I think it's this one here. This is like 11 or 12 and it works out just perfectly, right? But that's it. Everything else ends up with a bunch of overlap in between. There's a, a few um, good circle tutorials out there. I think um, Total Eclipse and I watched uh, Stin Archie do a couple of really good ones. Oh, no worries, Minipax. Happy to share. Happy to share. So that is old. Don't need you. The hard part is that, and the tedious part is that when you want to extrapolate the circle, like if you need the circle up here to make walls, you've got to pull up from the bottom, even if you don't need all this stuff. So I've got a lot of foundations in here that I've placed that I will not need down the line, which is annoying. And I'm using the metal foundations, the, the default fix it ones, just because it's easy to see the edges.
right? So like if I want this to be the same height, I mean, I can also pull in from the outer circle as well. The outer circle is easier to grab, the inner circle is not so much. So it looks about right. After a while you get used to the pattern that you're looking at. But here, as the circum um, the circumference gets narrower, you run into issues where it's going to be too narrow in here. If we continue this inside, right, in a straight line, it makes the entrance too narrow. So at some point, I'm going to have to rotate and put some custom walls in there. Ravencraft, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Now I color coded these and I couldn't tell you why. I don't remember what the difference was between the white and the blue. I think one is the inside wall and one's the outside wall. But I'm honestly guessing. I do know that that was marked on purpose because that is meant to be something to let me know that that is the outside wall. So as I wanted to change this design out here, I had that marked as like that's the outside wall, so I don't want to build anything past that, so I'm trying to figure out like how to get an inside track, and it looks like I unfortunately have to share the inside outside here, which is not ideal. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. I do find sometimes it's easier to go from below. You can sort of see a little bit better, provided you've got the the headlamp on. The only crappy thing about these particular foundations, while they are easy to see, uh, they take both plates and concrete, so you kind of constantly have to replenish two resources instead of just one. That's why I've been trying to like tear down a little bit as I go, so I can get some resources back when I need them. You can see where I was trying not to go the whole way around. I don't even know why those are there. I wonder if those are just like if there's like an indent somewhere or yeah, right? So that's that's what that is on the inside probably. It's just those things being hollow. In a in a way, I'm getting a little ahead of myself in this build in that I uh I know what some parts of it look like and I don't know what other parts of it look like. 
But the idea is eventually there's not going to be anything in this in this gap. That that star pattern is not going to be there. It's going to be just a straight oval right to the to the sky. Night has fallen. Yes, I think I'm going to stick with the nighttime break times just because it's a, a weekday. It's a little bit later in the day. So um, slightly more frequent breaks, but it's harder to see when you're counting foundations. Uh, and I don't have lights up that high in the build. So we'll grab the break train now. If you're uh, new to the channel, I do take a break once an hour. It's that time, but hey, you get to ride the train. So I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
looks like the sun is coming back up. Always a good sign. Out of curiosity for the folks that are here on a regular basis and enjoy these train breaks, do you prefer the camera angle to be like directly over the train like this? Do you get to see more when the camera is more on the side? Is it weird to go along for the ride when you're off to the side like that? Definitely looking forward to improving the train network a bit. That's for sure. Sinning Stan, hello, welcome in. I am doing well, yeah. Pretty chill day. Don't mind throwing in the extra stream. It was rainy, gloomy. Pretty good excuse to get inside. It gets dark early now, too. It's, it's dark outside now, roughly. It's like 6... 10 after 6 p.m. Straight ahead, says Sandy. Okay, that's good to know. Mind trip, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. No preference in the train view? Cool. I do it sometimes just to shake things up a little bit. Yeah, I think we've I think we've roughed in all of the platforms now. I don't think there's any like skeletal platform left. Cuz the two that we just built unless I'm missing something. I mean, obviously, this one needs to be trimmed. Long patrol, you like seeing the engines? Yeah, the engines are cool. I like, I agree with you. It almost looks like it should be a hover train, you know? I know it d would defeat the purpose of it having tracks, but... The thing I'm always surprised about with these tracks is how modern the train looks. But then how the tracks have got these weird little like rails on them on the side here, like this little little beam. I think the, tr the tracks would look so much better if they didn't have those. If it was just just the center beam, you know, just the monorail. I like that idea better. All right, back upstairs. Actually, well, I guess we're here now. There's still so much work to do on this. So much work. So I think I like what I've got going on down here. So maybe we can fill this in too. Oh, I guess that's already been, it's already been decided. So I guess what I need to do is Pull these up and then across. See what I mean? How it's it's a lot easier to do when you're below something.
There's these little in-between ones that you have to catch. Like that. Once they start going red, you know you've filled them all in. And I don't know, I guess we might be able to get away with only some of these, like if I delete. Yeah, so they sort of match. They don't need to all be in, but works out. Uh, I do that. That's three wide. Oh, that gets removed. So does this. Then I've got to figure out what's going to happen with this. What is this doing? It's a pump, I guess. Oh, no, that's just old, probably old wiring. Yeah. Okay, I don't need you or you. Spaghetti wires, yep. Yeah, it's part of the problem of the hover pack is that you end up with spaghetti everywhere. Alright, so how did we... So this is the problem is that this is the current top of the circle and it's just, it's not, it's not available. So you have to like, this is the tedious part here where you have to like grab this and then bring it up. And hope you did it right. I don't think I did. There's a two meter there for some reason. See, like I wouldn't have known that that was there had I left everything intact. So like you got to be really aware of the circle. But like this is where technically using the concrete is kind of a pain. Better to use the fix-it foundations, but I'm being impatient. Uh, long patrol. You've never seen Satisfactory before. It's the building four. So it's a power plant, which you've got a quick description of in the chat. But uh, if we bring this up here, before I forget. So essentially we've got, uh, where's my, I need to catch my bearings here. East, south. Is it south or north? I want north. So quick explanation, you can turn oil 
into fuel and burn fuel for power. So we've got oil nodes in the distance. There's four of them and they're bringing in the crude oil and the crude oil is going through a refinement process. Uh, this is the temporary process that got us started, but the full refinement process is happening below us here on the very, very first floor. And it's turning the crude oil into heavy oil residue. You can see all the refiners down there. So that's what that's doing. And then on these floors, it's turning the heavy oil residue, the purple stuff, into diluted fuel, which is the yellow stuff, which you can see just, just in there. There's the, the fuel coming out. And then the fuel is being pumped up to these floors. You can see it right there. And then it goes down in here and it gets burnt and it gets turned into electricity and the electricity is coming out these wires here and we're sending the electricity down to the rest of the map and it's enough with 400 fuel gens it's enough in this facility to power everything we've built in the world so far so that's why we're spending so much time on this is because it's uh it's very lucrative uh the effort in means that we no longer have to manage our power for a while which is gonna be great I guess I can delete that one. It's been a while since I've done just like a straight build on this for like an hour, you know, just getting foundations in, changing the shape, making things feel like less of a spaghetti mess. So I'm betting that this has going to move at some point. Whoa, missed the platform. We're gonna have to move some of these hyper tubes it looks like yeah that's gonna to have to be rearranged one of the reasons I want to fill this in is because I want to find a permanent way to get these hyper tubes in so I don't have to keep on moving them over and over again No. Okay. I hope I'm getting all the right bits here. I'm sure I've disconnected some of our infrastructure in terms of like the hyper tubes and stuff, but we can get those back up early and easy. The 
something screwy is going on here. I think what we can do is we can use this part. There we go. So there's three there. Looks like there should be two, but there's actually three. can't get it though. Oh, it looks like I was going too far anyway. Whoops. I do find this a little bit slow, but... The end result's always nice. It would be nice if we had some sort of like visor mode. You know, where you could see the edges of things a little bit easier. In, um,. Hard Space Shipbreaker, there was a mode like that. I'm definitely getting to the point where I'm feeling a little self-conscious sometimes of the um, the number of entities that I'm building and I'm hoping to try and kind of gut this place and remove all the scaffolding and the parts I don't need because uh, it can be a little bit laggy sometimes. Cool. Well, that part's complete. And this is the second floor, so there's definitely spots where there should be um, holes, I think. Yeah. Oop. Don't remember how big these are supposed to be, but we'll eventually have holes just for looking or for moving around, being able to see different parts of the build. 
So you kind of like build the whole shape and then you can go through, go through and change things. And we could put walls on these if I really wanted to, but I kind of like, kind of like the edge. Um, etc. Hello. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Just finished listening to this week's Spawn Chunks. Uh, enjoy the discussion. Uh, Denoment, thanks very much. Slightly longer show, but it was an interesting, interesting conversation about potential Minecraft holidays and stuff like that. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do was look at the actual piping and where things are coming from. So in here, well, one, these are old because these are red, not, not, um, not yellow. That gets split that way. This is running off this way. Actually, this should technically be a There's which And I usually, st uh, what did that just say? Did that say one of my grids is no longer on? Oh, that's maybe because I separated a grid. No power. Okay. I must have unhooked something. This is where we run into issues with the building powering itself. Do you have power over here? Yes, yes you do, okay. So that is where the power is not happening. We have power over here. Nope, does not look like it. Okay, then. That was close. <laughs> Is the whole thing out? That can't be right. No, here we go. Okay. So I've turned off half? Yeah, I've turned off half the power. Whoops. This is where the spaghetti mess I was talking about earlier was not a good idea. Um, you don't have to have everything unlocked. I'm not... I think I'm through tier 7. 6 or 7. Um, once you've got some infrastructure for your basic parts, you can build this. I think the hardest thing to come by were some of the parts for the blenders. But you can kind of like... Not force them, but you can kind of... Man... Like auto... Like manually feed machines. You know? Alright, so this has got power. But then it stops. Why does it stop? So somehow we've separated out the power.
don't know how or why. It's back though. So what I wanted to check was the number of floors that this yellow pipe feeds. So this feeds this spoke, which is due north. Okay. Or close to north. So that splits off. And where do you go? after you split off. Okay, so you go, you continue to go to the left. So as long as each one of these breaks off to the left. So same thing, we've got a yellow, yellow here, spokes off, and immediately goes left and fuels this wing. So we just have to follow this pattern all the way around. Uh, so that's that guy there. Yellow goes in there, goes up, spokes left, and uh, fuels that wing. So then we've got this one. Ah, these are not different colors. That's going to be confusing. Totally worth color coding your stuff, by the way. Especially if you're hiding them. But I would even say, like, color code them first if you can see them and then change them later. If you wanted to change them to a specific color. Because it's going to make your life a lot easier. And this is the part of the build that doesn't seem to have any more power. Like, why are you not all jamming? You probably don't have a pump anymore. Would be my guess. Yeah, pumps are not working here. That's annoying because these should be. Somehow got taken off the grid. I think that's what that square was doing. So if we just hook this back up, right, you don't have any power. So that's the issue. Make this a little bit easier to track. All right, so those have three connections. Place that with one of these. One, two, and three. Seriously, you don't have any power either? What good are you then? I wonder if this whole thing is just starting to slow down. Yeah, the blenders don't have any power. Is there anything up here that's powered? We ran into this once before. I don't remember how. But I've definitely run into this before where... 
one one thing was powering too many things. I think when you moved the power pole on the wall space that you covered, it broke the circuit. Yeah. All right. Well, this is working. Oh, that's those are lights. This is these are all green, so they're still getting fuel. So let's just we'll just go around and connect everything. Here I am saying that I want less power spaghetti, and yet I don't like that it shuts down the grid whenever you reconnect. It it sh I don't feel like it should. Thing is, once these are all hooked up, then power should just continue to re regenerate on its own. So that didn't shut it down. Is this generating fuel? Getting there. Yeah, I think the issue was I had a square there at first, and now I have a circle. Pumping, things are moving. A power plant with no power? Yeah, wouldn't be the first time. Would not be the first time, will more than likely not be the last. Like I've got some odd, like who thought that was a good idea? I mean, spoiler, it was me, <laughs> but still. What is this going to? My guess. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, we don't need you or you. Uh, this, I feel like I could probably get from an easier location. Because these guys are temporary. These hyper tubes are not going to stay here. So that that just needs to be obviously something I need to remove later. That's fine. Uh, but I don't want it to be confused with like internal wiring that we actually want. All right. This is... That's likely needed, so I don't want to mess with that just yet. Yeah, so that's coming in from there. So let's do something a little bit nicer with that. Just so it's a little bit more obvious. I'm going to have to make some some actual design decisions on how to best um, move the wires vertically. We're going to have some empty walls, I think, that'll be able to handle that in the long run. All right, I don't need that to be bright color.
this doesn't go anywhere. So part of it is just like removing the confusion, right? Oh, wow. Who knows where that goes? <laughs> Okay, so it's just, it's just poor planning. Right, that goes to there. And this goes to the outside, right? So this is where I run into issues where we're going to have to start bringing things down inside. Ooh, that's coming from the wrong side. Or is it? That's tricky. Uh, thanks, Sandy. Appreciate that. Uh, do, 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 do. So this is the floor we're working on. So this is obviously we can have this up here. So I don't need that, but I, this connects. I think that's the only vertical wire going from the second floor to the third floor. So I don't want to remove it until I can um, put it somewhere else. And I would say that this is probably the location. I'm going to have to work out a decent pattern for all of this. Alright, so that's all connected. This guy lost power. Because these guys are just all over the place useless. Definitely a little bit of a little bit of cleanup going on, I think. Are these guys these guys aren't doing anything. Are they hooked up? Yep. So, where are they not hooked up? And this is where we run into the crude oil capacity problem. All right, that's the main grid. That's good. Okay. Happy with that. These are just fluctuating because they're probably not getting enough Diluted fuel. Yeah. Well, I know all the blenders are hooked up. And I know that I lost power on some of the blenders. Let's go look at the blenders. And see if any of the blenders are off. Unfortunately, the lights are on the other side. 
You've got power. Which blender floor is this? This is the second floor. You guys are moving. You've got power. You've got power. Mm, you've got power too. Yep, okay. So all four of those floors have got power. Did we cut the power to these floors? Nope. That floor is obviously good. <laughs> <laughs> lit up like a Christmas tree. Good over here. Obviously that's a yes over there. And we're good here. Okay, so the blenders are not off. That's good. So it must have been just that quadrant that was messed up. And if you're getting turned around in here, don't worry, I am too. Right, so those are the top two floors that we're working on now. That's why those crosses are still there. So that makes sense. So the last thing that I wanted to check today was uh, whether or not we still needed all this temporary stuff over on the other side. And I don't think we do. I think one of our problems right now is that we've got more fuel gens in the main power facility than we have crude oil to um, work with. And that's, we have to delete this temporary setup because this, I don't think is hooked up to anything. Yeah, it's just 3000 megawatts. That's it. We've got another 30 in there. So really what's happening is that somewhere down the line, one of these pipes is being split off and is fueling these things. And we need to not do that. So these three red pipes are the main, the main job. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, there's four pipes. I thought there was only three. They get combined into three. Oh, I see. There's the there's the three there. So yeah, I think I'm not gonna delete this stuff, but I'm going to decommission it. And to do that. I need to make sure that it's not hooked up to anything else. I.e. I need it to I need those pumps to keep on going. I think that's where they're getting their energy right now. I think the oil is being powered by a different network. So the only way to check that is to go to the oil and backtrack. Oh, autosave lag. It's going to be tricky to follow because I have not visually separated everything from a design perspective. Like, eventually I want to have the pipes over there. But right now they're here. Oh, I forgot about all the nasties. Crap. Is it, oh, there's pods over here. Darn it. All right, well, that's annoying. Well, never mind. I'm not going to mess with those guys. There's no real way to check. It's the only thing that we missed out on when they upgraded to update six is we, um, we lost our ability to make ammunition because they changed how hard it was to make. And so now we don't have any, we don't have any gun ammunition. So it makes a lot of this stuff a little bit more difficult. All right. 3000. So my guess is that the crude oil is being powered by this network right here. Yeah, 
Okay, so I cannot delete this just yet. Cannot decommission. So the main resource that we have going on here is uh, is powering is being powered by a separate grid. Okay, which is good, and that means it keeps the factory going no matter what I do upstairs. This is always functioning, so I have to just leave this going. I just have to figure out what the minimal amount is going to be, and then we'll go from there. I'm looking forward to finishing these halls too. It's going to look pretty good. All right. Well, I think that's probably a good spot to wrap up. It's uh, getting time for my my dinner uh, is getting close. If you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a follow before you take off. We are going to pass you on to somebody else here on Twitch. Uh, I was looking at either Meza or Megibyte, depending on who is still live. Uh, maybe Sandy, if you could let me know in chat, that'd be great. Uh, but. It looks like we are not as close as I thought to removing the temporary um, power setup down here. We did get a fair amount of uh, building done in the top levels. And this entire time, our northern factory has been gathering more computers. So I'll probably go AFK in between streams and gather more computers. And then we can do the final platforms. You can see these obviously need to get fixed and tweaked and all that kind of stuff. So there's still a lot of building left to do. Um, but uh, really what I want to do is just get the functional platforms in and then remove this. And once we're humming along, uh, I think it's um, it's probably the best thing best thing for us uh, would be to remove, remove this part. But we're not quite there yet. I thought we were. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all right. Uh, so if you want to uh, check out more free stuff from me, you can listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast as well as the Citadel Cafe podcast. Both of those have brand new episodes out this week. On the Citadel Cafe, we talked about Star Trek and the peripheral. And on the Spawn Chunks, we talked about the latest creative changes in the snapshot, as well as the um, the, the Halloween uh, holidays and the seasonal holidays that might, you know, what, what it would look like to, to do um, in, in Minecraft, uh, having like seasonal holidays and stuff like that. So... Uh, Sweet Sandy, I know Cosmic Dancer is live. Do you know if, if uh, they're wrapping up anytime soon? Because I could send everybody over that way too. They get, they might get mad at me. Which is kind of more reason to do it. <laughs> um, let me check. Okay, so we'll let Sweet Sandy check. In the meantime... Uh, thanks everybody for subscribing today. If you uh, did your resub, uh, I really appreciate it. It's uh, always wonderful to have the folks coming around. Uh, some big numbers, 22 months, 16 months. That's amazing. Uh, if you also want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Joel Duggan. I tweet when I go live. Everybody in the Discord uh, has a little bit of a heads up when I go live. So if you want to take a, uh, a check at that, then you can do that. Uh, yeah, let's read Cosmic. Uh, they'll be mad, but that's fine. Um, oh, Impulse is starting too because I know Cosmic it's getting late for Cosmic and they're probably going to wrap up soon. Is Impulse like actually live? I don't see him live. I didn't realize. Oh, he is. Okay, let's do let's do Impulse just because I know that that it's late for Cosmic. So we'll rate rate Impulse and uh, yeah. We'll see y'all later. All right. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to stream again. It's just Tuesday, potentially Thursday, definitely Friday for the Lego Let's Chat. So yeah, we'll see y'all then. Bye for now.